Spider-Man is the newest installment for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's almost a pioneering film. Because as some of you may or may not know, Marvel doesn't actually own the rights to Spidey, Sony does. Yet this film can exist because they've made a deal with each other. Which basically means the character can exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Sony, Sony has a hand in making the films. It's just interesting to see such big cooperation from such big faceless movie studios. Marvel just picks good filmmakers, and John Watts is definitely one of them. He told a compelling story with Spider-Man Homecoming, and I think that was really a strong part of the film. There were parts I didn't expect, and they caught me off guard. And I did like it that it wasn't just a mere carbon copy of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, but some of the aspects of that were changed, and I'm not going to say which ones, but it was really nice to see. Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man ever, and by extension this film is up there with one of my favourite Spider-Man films. It's like they actually respected the source material. Spider-Man is a teenager, and I can't tell you how much better the film instantly is in my mind by the fact that Spider-Man is actually played by a teenager. I just believe it more, and like having someone like Andrew Carfield play a high school student while well, he is a good actor is just ludicrous. Tom Holland also plays Spider-Man exactly how I feel like he should be played. The part that most excited me about this movie was the talks while it was still in production about its tone, people saying it felt like a John Hughes movie or a teen comedy movie, and this was where I felt a little let down. It really doesn't have the vibe of a John Hughes movie at all, I'd argue. It touched on the teen comedy movie a little, but I would have liked to take that much further. I was excited for a unique superhero movie, and I got a little bit of that, but not as much as I would have liked. It felt like the same old formulaic superhero movie with dabbles of having its own identity in terms of tone. It could have been much, they could have taken it much further in my opinion. Some of the comedy I thought was quite creative and well observed. Usually we're used to the same old comedic style from the Marvel film guidebook, but Spider-Man brings some really nice visual comedy and other comedic moments which I found genuinely funny. The visual effects were really good, but that's kind of expected from anyone, anything Disney produces now. They really have no excuse for anything being bad, so... Michael Keaton was one of the best parts for me. He played the part really well. He was genuinely menacing and was able to play it in such a way that he wasn't hindered by his previous roles. Like, it wasn't distracting that he was Batman, because in this movie he was the Vulture, and he was really great at it. I'm going to say this movie is 6.5. I really enjoyed this movie, I honestly did, but I think the superhero movie fatigue is hitting me a bit lately. There's just not enough diversity in tone or structure, and Spider-Man Homecoming is a good film, it might even be my favourite Spider-Man film, and I love this version of Spider-Man they have going, but like, if you miss this film, it doesn't really matter, but it is a good time overall. Anyway, that's what I thought of Spider-Man Homecoming, you can agree or disagree. Let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, bye.